www.newtobots.com. This is again Ty. Uh, we're still on the part where we're creating a video tutorial series on uh, Adobe Audition CS6. Uh, in case you missed out something that you'd want to check back or scan back from the list of videos that we have on our YouTube channel, you can check that in there. Probably you would need those video tutorials prior to following the video tutorial that we're creating right now. Uh, again, we're on a part where we would want to show you on how you can add in effects or audio effects to make your recording um, sound a little bit nicer or probably sound a little bit professional. If you would probably use this for a radio commercial or a radio ad uh, voiceover that you're going to use for something else. So again, what you do first, you open up your Adobe Audition from here. Like that. Uh, if you're using Adobe Audition CS6, 3.0, 2.0, this is going to be the same. If you're just going to use the standard effects that you have in there, like echo, reverb, uh, some kind of a flanger. But if you're using Cool Edit Pro or something older, then you can just check that in there. If you can't find that, then you might want to upgrade to uh, CS6. Yeah, when you first open your Adobe Audition, you first would be brought to a default page that's going to take you to Waveform View. If you don't know how to create voiceovers yet, a basic recording, you go back, scan down on the videos that we have on the list prior to learning this. But we're going to start off from basic. If you might run into some errors like uh, data rate, the sample rate errors, just do check that out in there. Yeah, and what you first do, if you click on the red button right there, it's going to say record, it's going to record your voice. You, uh, you would want to make sure first that you're on a waveform. You go up on the left side, click on waveform, name that, you say like voice over 001, probably like that. Sample rate, just keep that at 41, uh, sorry, 44, 100. If you'd want to change that, it's going to work, but um, I'm pretty much okay with 44. Stereo. For the channel, you might want to use 5.1, but uh, just think so of the people that's going to use this. Probably not using 5.1, but a lot of people still are. Sort of still standard will be stereo. You just put that as stereo. Bit depth uh, 32. You can use 860 and 24. Click on OK. Then it's going to take you to a waveform view like this. If you click on the red button that says record, it's going to record while you talk if the headset that you're using is the input microphone that you are also using. But if not, or you don't want to make hardware changes again, you go back on a video list and then check that out in there before continuing with the tutorial right here. Click on the red button play that says record, space it's going bar. To record while you it's going to play. So from there we want to do delete that first. Control A and press on, sorry, control A, press delete, it's going to remove everything. Uh, voiceover. I created something right here. This would probably sound not okay for you, but this is what I got into, I mean, what got into my mind earlier. This would be our mm, sample uh, radio ad, or probably just the short voiceover that we're going to use so that we could add an effect to a uh, sample voice, which is my voice for this. So what you're going to do first, you uh, take on record right here, and you don't mind if it's capturing while you're talking because you can just delete that a little later. Right? So before you start off, you might want to say uh, recording one or recording two. Why? It's just a marker though. So you could somehow remember as to what uh, how many times you tried the recording. But if you want to just delete that, that will be safer. Spacebar to stop, Control A, press delete. Let's start to record right now. Nuda Boss treats you for a Valentine pizza party. Get 20% discount when you order right now. Plus, we'll add in two solo pizzas with a flavor of your choice. So what are you waiting for? Call now. Let's stop that in there and check if I guess it's too loud. Nuda Boss treats you for a Valentine. Uh, if you notice, it's banging right there. Right, so we're going to repeat that because 
I don't want to adjust the microphone on real time because I'm using this on Camtasia right now. What you just have, or what you can do for this, if you're using a mixer or an audio mixer, you can just adjust the, the input channel. But now, since I'm using a headset, what I'm going to do is talk a little bit far from the microphone. Let me just delete that because we cannot use that. Let me just pull this off a little bit away and let me start back. Um, checking here. Uh, I guess I've got misspelled words right there. Okay, let me start back. No, I need to pull this back a little. Treat you for a pizza. Treat you for a pizza. Hello, treats you for a pizza party. I guess that would be enough. Okay, let me, let me, once again. Noodle Boss treats you for a Valentine pizza party. Get 20% discount when you order right now. Plus, we'll add in two solo pizzas with a flavor of your choice. So what are you waiting for? Call now. Put my headset back again. And let me see what for you for a Valentine pizza party. Okay, I guess that'll be enough. And one second, let me just charge up my computer because it's way too low for battery. Okay, there we go. Better need it back again. For a Valentine. So, boss treats you for a Valentine pizza party. Noodle Boss treats you for a Valentine pizza party. Get a 20% discount when you order right now. Plus, we'll add in two solo pizzas with a flavor of your choice. Uh, you can play that first like that. So what See, are you waiting for? Everything. Call now. Okay, we're going to end it in there. So what you do, you select the part where you want to end it. And highlight that and delete. Go back to multi-track right here. Oh, sorry. You're on waveform. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, so again, if you want to trim it, you might want to make it a little longer, like that. Just drag the handler. Noodle bar. And remove that part. Yes. Uh, you're still gonna pay for that if you're gonna send this on radio. I guess it's per second, I guess. Not I guess, but I'm sure. Okay, drag that now. Now. Call now. Noodle boss. Okay, I'm not. Uh, professional radio jock or doing voiceovers I'm just trying to test this alright okay so what you do you amplify this you control A and bring that in to multi-track uh, say track 002 radio at 44100 template click on OK then it's going to give you this multi-track view right there how do you want to bring that waveform back again right click and you say insert to multi-track and that's your part right there we just said that it's track 02 noodle boss treats you for a valentine pizza party get take a look at that part right here you got breaks so you might want to just uh inject a really really short break the part let me just edit that because this is not what i'm trying to show pizza part Pizza Park. Get a 20% discount when you order right now. Show. Now. Plus, we'll add in two solo pizzas with a flavor of your choice. Bigger again? Sorry, better be, uh, you waiting for? Call now. Noodle Boss treats you for a Valentine pizza party. Get 20% discount when you order right now. Plus, we'll add in two solo pizzas with a flavor of your choice. So what are you waiting for? Call now. Okay, that's a pretty lame ad right there, but it's what I thought of. I'm not pretty good at that. Okay, so here's the exciting part. How you want to change your voice right there. How you want to add in. Uh, effects. You are on waveform view. OK, 
Okay, if you're on a multi track view, just double click on that and it's going to bring you back to the waveform view. Control A, highlight, there you go for effects right here. Then, uh, take on that and it's going to give you all these. If you want to make it a little bit uh, reverbing, you got an echo or somehow, like a delay while you talk, it's got someone says analog delay, stick on that. And you got default, you got presets though. Uh, there are a lot really. So, um, or you just use uh, Fusion right here. Click on apply, it's going to sound a little bit different. That's Fusion. It's going to fuse a lot of voices from one source. Alright? So, uh, if you're trying to create a recording from something else, you can use Fusion Control Z to go back. This is how you experiment on the audio. Oh, sorry, I guess we might have lost too far. Um, this is how you experiment your audio from there. So, uh, one more. Got reverb. This will make it sound a little bit like you're on a studio. So, now, so you click on studio reverb right here. And go for something that says vocal reverb. Da -da -da -da. Here. Just small. Alright. Take on apply. And notice. Nuda Boss treats you for a Valentine pizza party. Get 20% discount when you order right now. Plus, we'll add in two solo pizzas with a flavor. See that? It's going to be a little bit different from there. So go back, Control C, and uh, just play around with all these. If you want to stretch uh, the recording, let's say uh, Control A and bring back to multi track right here. Uh, if you want to go back, you stick on home. Let's say your marker is right here. You stick on home. It's going to bring you back to where it should be as your starting point. Um, okay. Uh, what you do here, uh, you would want to like create uh, a simple chorus. Maybe you'd want to do two voices. It's very simple. Uh, control. I'm uh, sorry. Right click over that. Click on copy and bring this right here. Right click on the second layer, track two. Right there, and you click on paste. You got two right here. If you merge that together, you will notice that it's going to be a little bit louder. It's going to amplify that twice. Nuda Boss treats you for a right. So if you want to turn this off, you tick on M to mute, and you will notice Nuda Boss treats you. It's different. Switch that on back for a Valentine pizza party. Okay. If you want to make adjustments on the volume right here. You can just do that here for the decibel. All right, let's go back a little bit. That back down to zero. If you want to just down, just bring it back down. So we're gonna use two. Why? Because we would want to uh, make it sound like quite a little bit double. But uh, you just have to make some sort of like uh, just going to the right. What you do is take a look at your marker right here. See that? The audio first should not exactly match all the waveforms. It's just that going a little bit to the right, so the first voice would come in first, and then the second repetitive voice would come in second. Nuda Boss treats you for a Valentine pizza party. Yeah. Right, it would sound a little bit better like that, and also, uh, if you added music, it would also sound a little bit good. Again, I'm not going to show you all the effects right here because it's going to take up quite a time for us to learn everything, but adding in effects is just on this part right here. Alright, and also, if, uh, here's something that I would want to show you. Let's say, you'd want, let's delete this off, let, let me just make it back. boss treats you for a Valentine pizza party. Yeah. Alright, so that would sound like that. Alright, so, again, that will be all for now. Again, there's a lot of effects in there. You just play around uh, depending on uh, the need that you would have. You got fillers, you got uh, delay and echo. You can generate tones, you can generate robot voices uh, to showcase everything to you, but it's going to take up a lot of time. Okay, so just experiment on that. Just just take on the box right here, effects, and you can manage from there. Again, uh, for some other video tutorials, you can check out www.dudeboss.com. My name is Ty. Thanks for watching, and let's listen to uh, the 
pizza ad that we created. New Boss treats you for a Valentine pizza party. Get a 20% discount when you order right now. Plus, we'll add in two solid pizzas with the flavor of your choice. So what are you waiting for? Call now.